Tengriism is the ancient worldview of the nomads of Eurasia. Scythian tribes, the Huns, the ancestors of the Turkic peoples, the Tatars, Kazakhs, Turks, Azeris, Altai, Kyrgyz, Uyghurs, Uzbeks, Mongols and Hungarians, Yakuts, Kumiks, Tuvan, Kakas. Perhaps it was appeared about 7000 years ago. Tengriism is a veneration of a single god Tengri, which is a cosmic deity cult, the cult of the blue sky. Tengri is a god, the absolute. He is the creator of the universe. He created the sky, mountains, seas, oceans, humans and all living things on the earth. According to Plana Carpini, the ambassador of Pope Innocent IV, who visited the Eurasian steppes in the 13th century, the Tatars believe in one God, who recognized as the creator of all things, visible and invisible. They also worship the sun, moon, fire, as well as water and earth. The man is a particle of the cosmos, man is a microcosm, a particle of the macrocosm. The nomads worship the great sky, Tengri. Tengriism has no prophets as the other religions. Tengriism as a spiritual worldview of the Turks in the 13th century became a complete concept with traditions dating back to ancient times. It contains the following. The idea of monotheism. Tengriism recognizes Tengri as a single god. The rest of the mythical characters are considered as uh, his creations. There are 16 creations among the Turks. Cyclic period of creation of the world is similar to the seasons. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. The world is infinite and is in constant motion. The soul of man is immortal. On the 40th day after the physical death, the good soul of man moves to the other side, the world of the dead ancestors. The more good deeds a person commits in his life, his soul will be easier, rising to the highest level. If a person commits good and bad deeds, his soul remains at the ground level. If a person during his lifetime collected a lot of negative deeds, he has a heavy soul. It falls to the lower ground floor of the earth, to the extreme heat and suffering. There are no heaven and hell in Tengrianism. World is a perception of the nomads consists of three levels. The upper world, sky as a supreme spiritual principle. Yumai is in the middle world. She is a goddess of love and motherhood, patron of children, the cult of the ancestors as the basis of the existence. Erlik is a lower world, protector of the underground. Tengri unites all these three worlds. Thus, the structure of the world is threefold. The vertical structure of the world is represented in the form of the world tree. Top is the crown of a tree, which is the blue sky, the stars, the mountain peaks. The trunk of the tree is the land, men, animals. Bottom is the roots of the tree. The underworld consists of caves, fauna, living underground. The analog of the world tree is a representation of Turks, is a birch, or a sacred birch, by Khan. Another option is a sacred world tree, is a sacred poplar Baiterek. In the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, the tower Baiterek is a symbol of the country's independence, have been installed. The world tree is a single axis of the structure of the world, the axis of rotation of the universe. According to the legend, heaven and earth were upset when the great chaos started. People, animals have been killed, rivers burst, the banks, mountains moved. The chaos lasted three years, until Tengri, in great anger, hammered the golden stake into the universe. Tengri strengthened heaven and earth with the golden stake. The earth, moon, sun and stars resolve around the golden stake. The top of the golden stake can be seen in the right sky, in the form of a star. People call the star Temir Kazik, polar star. Polar star is the center of the heaven and the entrance to the heaven world. In their turn, the heavens are divided into nine levels. The man has seven bodies, from the high spiritual to the bottom physical. Since ancient times, the Turks have studied the motion of stars and planets in the solar system and established a calendar of 12th year animal cycle, zodiac, which was based on three indicators. 
monthly rotation of the Moon around the Earth, the annual rotation of the Earth around the Sun, and the 12th year rotation of Jupiter around the Sun. Each year of the 12th year cycle is named after animals. First year – mice, then the ox, the tiger, the hare, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the sheep, the monkey, the chicken, the dog, the pig. The Kazakh's calendar is called Mushel. Harmony of masculine and feminine. The world is arises from the interaction of masculine and feminine powers, as heaven and earth, day and night, cold and heat, fire and water. Human life passes in harmony with nature, with its rhythm, with other people. The principle of antinomism states, act according to the laws of nature, while respecting the laws of society. The man is not the God's servant. Man is a part of the God. The God learns himself through the man. A person develops together with the God, Tengri. The man himself is a master of his fate. Respect for the animal and planet world. The devastation of nature was considered an affront to the spirit of Tengri and ancestor spirits. During hunting for wild animals, the nomads did not touch the females and calves. They shot mainly older males and the amount which was needed for sustenance. During a campaign of hunting, they tried to kindle a fire of twigs and dry grass. They did not break the branches of green trees. Water sources, springs and streams never were contaminated. Nature is harsh, but it can be gentle and merciful. It gives the food, the shelter for the person to continue the human race. The earth is a gift of the God. The land cannot be sold and cannot be bought. Tolerance to other religions and peoples most clearly expressed in the idea of Tengri. The God is a single, and religions are different ways to the God. The different world religions coexisted within the Turkic states, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism. There was freedom of religion, tolerance toward other peoples. Nomans adopted orphan boys of their faiths and other nationalities and granted them the same rights as native sons. Respect and honor of the parents, the elders, respect for the spirit of the ancestors, the worship of ancestors and their great deeds. Nomads paid great respect to the ancient monuments, burial mounds, stone sculptures and rock carvings. During the battle, or in the case of critical situations, the nomad appealed to the spirit of the ancestors by their names and spirit. Arwah of the ancestor really helped. A did respect for women, mothers. Son coming into the home, bowing first to the mother and then his father. An insult of the woman was a crime and was severely punished. The girl was considered as a guest of the family. She was surrounded by much love and attention. She was preparing for the future role of the mother, the keeper of the earth. Respect for children. Children are the continuation of life. This is a high awareness of the role and mission of the children, leading to a succession of generations, development and preservation of the people. The Kazakhs preserved an ancient custom to Sao Kisu. When the child begins to take the first steps, the most respected man cuts the fetters on the feet of the child, which means opening of the road to life. Parents prepared a table, duster can, and invited guests. Spiritual education of the human, knowledge of etiquette, reception of guests, rules of conduct have a great importance. Love for the country and its people highly evaluated. Such people were respected. Materials acquisitions enrichment is not considered as a goal of life. Institutions of the nomadic society, such as Kurultai, Council of Elders, Council of Bees, transmit cultural heritage, their life experience and the canons of the nomadic society for use. According to Plano Carpini, the Tatars have rare quarrels, abuse, fights, and there is no murders at all. In the perception of the Turks, the genus is linked with a generic tree that gives life. It is a symbol of life and well-being of members of the genus. The leaves grow on the branches of the family tree. There are the souls of unborn children. Tribal relations, knowledge of family, origins up to the seventh generation have special importance in the consciousness of the nation, which allows to know the most distant relatives. Relations 
Companionship helped to survive for people to help each other in everyday life. Young people having kinship up to the seventh generation were not allowed to marry. This ancient custom permitted to maintain health and gene pool of future generations, protecting them from the degradation. Harsh natural conditions of the steppes spawned the holy law of hospitality. Guests are always welcomed in each yurt. The guest will be fed will get warm, will be surrounded with attention and respect, will be provided with accommodation and will be followed to a long journey. From ancient times the Turks worshipped the sun. They considered themselves as sun worshippers. Kuns, the Huns, the Hunu. The sun is a symbol of life. The symbol of the sun depicted on the national flag of Kazakhstan. The cult of sacred mountains have great importance for the Turks. The mountains with their tops directed upwards into space and provide a link with the god Tengri. The mountains, which emit a large amount of life energy, are called the sacred. Immortal spirits worshipped by Turks inhabited in the mountains. The equilateral cross, the Turks swastika, symbolizes the unity of the heaven and the earth. Since ancient times, the cross was found in many nations. Perhaps it means a sign of universal being, a sign of eternity. Equivalence, equilibrium, equality are the basic principles in the philosophy of the Kazakhs. The ornaments module and background equivalently fill the space and differ mainly only by color. Models in the ornament coming to the fore in turn create movement, and this movement is infinite, like birth and death, death and birth. It is easily visible in the ornaments of the Kazakh crafts. Spiral, its semantics alive, evolution, development. Equilateral cross is a solar sign, symbol of the Tengriism. Circle is the sun and the eternal sacred sky. Triangle is the sacred mountain of Ulitao. Square is life. The four main points of the four seasons from an equilateral cross and square. March 22nd is the day of spring equinox. June 22nd is the summer solstice, the longest day and shortest night. September 22nd is the day of autumn equinox. December 22nd is the winter solstice, the shortest day and the longest night. S-shaped sign is a symbol of infinity. Under connection of two spirals rotating in opposite directions to each other, we get an S-shaped sign, the symbol of infinity. If we place two S-shaped signs like a cross, we get solar sign, the cross. Under combining two solar signs, we see a traditional Kazakh ornaments. Spiral and equilateral cross are shaping module in the Kazakh ornament. The Kazakhs are direct descendants of Saks, Scythian and Turkic culture and their understanding of the world origin and order especially seen in the garments and ornaments. If we hold a straight line along the axis of the ornament under consideration of the Kazakh carpet to skis, we can see the main frame of the ornament, which consists of numerous crosses. A cross swastika have two types. Cross rotating clockwise symbolizes life on the earth, and the cross rotating counterclockwise means afterlife. The outer walls of Aisha Bibi Mausoleum, Koja Ahmed Yasavi Mausoleum, in South Kazakhstan, tiled with crosses of different shapes. Yurt, by the design characteristics, occupies special place in the culture of the Kazakhs. The design of the yurt is a symbol of the universe in the Tengriism culture. Shanarak is the upper part of the dome, the window in the sky, the sun circle tied with six perpendicular lines, forming a cross, a solar sign and installed strictly according to four cardinal points. Shanarak points to the four cardinal points, also serves as a sun dial and represents 12 months of the year. Uik as the poles fastening Shanarak with lattice skeleton. Keragia are folding details of lattice skeleton of the yurt, symbolizing earthly life, energy radiation by Tengri and a ray of sunshine. Fireplace. Fire is the birth of life, the hearth located in the center of the circle, and the smoke which is pulled up associated with the image of the life tree. 
Kazakh ornament is built on the module developed in graphics and proportions. Surprisingly, the module butted with itself on all sides, creates the same ornament in the breaks in the light. All patterns in the Kazakh ornament placed in a circle, triangle and square. Interesting images of two and two-headed birds in Saksk-Skifian ornament found in the Pazarek Mount of 5th-4th centuries BC. In the Kazakh ornament they transferred in two and two-headed birds in the original sense. They are not the eagles, but the bird Samruk, the representative of God Tengri on the earth. In essence this means duality, good and evil, life and death. The double-headed eagle is depicted on the coins of Khans of the Golden Ord, who are Uzbek and Janibek. 13, 13, 13, 57 AC. The two-headed bird was found in graves in the northwestern China, related to the dynasty of the period Chinggisid Yuan, 1271, 13, 68 AC. Also, double-headed eagle is depicted on the emblem of the great Seljuk Empire of the 11th century. The double-headed eagle depicts on the coin of the Prince of Tver, Mikhail Borisovich. 1481-85 AC. The double-headed eagle is depicted also on the arms of Moscow Prince Ivan III, 1497 AC. Perhaps this is due to the Turkic cultural influence. Tengriism, close relationships of the nomads to nature, to the establishment of new states. In the 5th century, the Huns created a great empire and they approached the borders of the Eastern and Western Roman empires. The Byzantine empires paid annual attacks to the Huns. Attila, the Kagan of the Huns, conquered the German tribes of Central Europe, became the German king. He was called in the ancient German ballad the saga of the Nibelung under the name of King Etzel. In 451 the Huns invaded Gaul, where the famous battle of the Huns against the Romans on the Catalonian fields took place. In 452 the Huns crossed the Alps and invaded Italy. The Roman Empire has appealed to peace. Pope Leo I was headed the representatives of the Romans appealed to Attila, offering 6000 gold ingots and land in the northeast of the empire in exchange for peace and promise not to destroy the holy city of Rome. Attila accepted peace conditions. The Huns, after conquering of the German tribes, weakened the pressure of German tribes to the Roman Empire and probably stopped full Germanization of southwestern Europe. The following chronology includes establishment of the Great Turkic Khanate, 6th 7th century, establishment of the Avar Khanate, 8th century, establishment of the Uyghur Khanate, 8th century, establishment of the Khazar. Khanate 8th century, establishment of the great Seljuk Empire the 11th century. Chinggis Khan Empire was established in 1206 AC. Tengriism was the state religion of the empire, the Turkic language was the official language. According to the Venetian traveler Marco Polo, Kublai Khan, a grandson of Chinggis Khan, had united China into a single state in the 13th century. Kublai Khan have wrote letters in Turkic language. The famous Persian historian of the 13th century, Rashid ad-Din, who served to Hulagu Khan, the grandson of Chinggis Khan, wrote that the nomadic clans that make up the foundation of the empire were Turks, known as the Mongols. Bushad Uli Buzul Khan, the honored worker of Mongolia, scientist, Kazakh and Mongolian speaking linguist, proved in his work titled Brief Comparative Historical Grammar of the Mongolian and Kazakh language that the root of languages of the Kazakhs and Mongols is a Turkic language, the language of their common ancestors, Turkic speaking Huns. Kazakh researcher Anatoly Olavintsov in his book Turks or Mongols, Age of Chinggis Khan, on the basis of numerous artifacts and comparative linguistic analysis provided compelling evidence ground that the official language of the Mongol Empire was the Turkic language. Tengriism is not associated with a variety of dogmas or restrictions. Man must live in balance with the world. 
supporting it both in nature and in society. The ancestors of Turks drew spiritual strength in Tengriism. Great spirit of Tengri is a pure virgin spring, like a mighty tree of life. And now, as an invisible whale protects the Turkic peoples in our complex changing world.